how many times I actually had to record this thing is not even funny. I recorded it and then when I was finally finished, I had not recorded the audio. I'm a smart little girl, aren't I? But anyway, hey everyone, it is me again, White Wolf Maya here, back here for yet another video. And today we are covering items. Now I know this scares a lot of you because like there there are items in game, like um, how will we be happy with those? But I know there are hundreds of you that really, really, really want to get like good items. And now my wolf does look different without the items, doesn't it? So of course you want and you need those items. But it's not that complicated. It really isn't that complicated. But you're going to need to take a wee little step back. Okay, a wee little step back. And jump into folders. And config files. And I know, that scares you all. It does, doesn't it? But it's fine. It's really, it really is simple. And once you've gotten the hang of it, it it's, it's really simple for most, almost all item packs. Unless you're making items. Then I'm sorry, I can't help you, China. But anyway, let's delve right in. It's really simple, and I will narrate all the rest of the way because I didn't record the audio. Yay! See you all in my desktop. Really simple, desktop. Okay, so here we are at my desktop. My really simple desktop because I like to keep things neat. And so, basically here I was just explaining stuff and, you know, all sorts of simple stuff. But the first thing you're going to need to do for Feral Heart is actually go and find something that you like. If it happens to be on DeviantArt, like where I am now, the beautiful, beautiful little DeviantArt site. Ah, uh, yes. The majority of the time, the link for the actual, um, for the actual items will most of the time be in the description. But if not, it'll be on the top side, if you scroll up underneath favorites, it'll be on the top side there where it'll say download. If it's not a zip folder and rather a JPG or PNG file, um, then it's just the actual image. A lot of the time on DeviantArt you can mistake um, them bragging about a commission or something for an actual download. So if there is no download link in the description and it's a PNG or JPG file, on the side download then it's a commission never mistake it for that so anyways once you found one that you actually like you go to the link in the well description you go and click that but otherwise just don't mistake in it for a commission always read the descriptions Des descriptions are fun it'll tell you whether or not it was a commission whether or not it has a download link there and most of the time it should be leading to Mediafire, which is what most Feral Heart users use to share their things. But if it's not, then you should just be a little bit skeptical. And now we are in where, if you click the link, a pop-up ad will come up if you click the download. Just click that. There's never anything good in a pop-up ad, so don't look at it. I have an ad blocker, so obviously there are no ads on this one. But anyway, you go back down to downloading your item pack. But the problem is this was the wrong item pack. This was I wasn't supposed to download this one. Okay, so here we go. This is the part where I cut through because I needed to record it so many times again. And this time I'm going to be leaving the legendary items pack in the description so that because it's actually a good starter pack to have. It's a good item pack. It has everything you need. You'll never have to download an item pack again. But so this one, you do the exact same. You click the green download button and it should, you know, come down into the little gray area and you know you've downloaded it all you need to do is double click your download again to open it and this time we're not going to need to extract extract anything so first of all you'll see that you know it looks kind of complicated but i don't use mac so i just go and delete that so that i can actually show you how simple it is up top is just a disclaimer but we don't really care about that at the moment Disclaimers are cool so you can actually see where the items are from and stuff and who made them But that just makes things more complicated so go delete that And now you see you have relatively simple looking instructions And now it's pretty simple we've already downloaded the file Yes we're not going to extract anything because it doesn't really help to extract anything And here's where it gets a little complicated it says locate your main file in the feral heart dictionary we're just going to simplify that to file because it's a feral heart file and look there's coding just, just just delete delete that too because that's just that's just complicated we're not going to look at that and now 
uh, the first thing a lot of people actually go to do is they'll go to their files, right? This PC, and they'll go search this PC. Don't go search in that thing. It takes forever to search your computer, and it's not fun waiting for whatever. Instead, go click your local disk and click your feral heart. See, it's there, and everything's there. You see, everything. You don't need to go look, at, just look in your local disk. Please, it, it simplifies everything. Really, it does. You could trust me on this. So anyway, we reopen this, and then you've located your main Feral Heart account, so you can just delete that, and then you can see configuration files, hmm, coding, scary, scary, scary stuff. Don't worry, it's literally just so simple. Now you see the items config file. So you go in, you've opened that thing up, and you see here's all the items and stuff. And then you literally just go, and I'm just I'm just doing this so that I have them side by side. But you see the items config there, pretty simple, right? The main feral heart folder is literally just the folder, so you just drag and drop that in with everything else there. Don't put it in any folders, just put it in the feral heart folder. And it's okay to replace files. Shh, it's okay, it's okay. You can replace the file. So if this pops up, you just click replace file and destination. It won't change your default feral hearts or anything. It really won't. You can trust me. Anyway, next you gotta tackle the items. Woo! Now you see all these little yellow folders here? They're basically the default items. The reason they kept those in there was to make it simpler for everyone else. So that they wouldn't have to highlight everything like I did. Just, uh, you can basically, if they do leave it in there, you can drag the items folder into the media like it says there in the instructions. Always listen to the instructions, it makes life easier. <laughs> So basically, all you do is drag the items folder into the mediums folder. But if they don't give you an items folder, you're going to need to highlight all the stuff and put it into the items folder that is in your Feral Heart account. I know, it sounds complicated. But basically, just for any other <laughs> um, pack, if it if it's, has anything besides drag and drop the items into the media, all you gotta do is just drag... Um, everything besides the originals well you can drag everything and then just replace the files in the destination and here's where I cut because there was so much stuff to highlight that I just eventually cut and then you drag all it whoa that is a lot of files 1000 <laughs> and you just copy it and now this this wouldn't be too much of a problem but look now and now it's just copying and you know it's busy and that's fine just leave that don't click pause don't click exit it's fine just leave it it's fine that's basically all you need to do. Just listen to the instructions and everything will be fine. Okay? So don't worry about the default stuff. That's just for this current item pack. If it says in the instructions, drag items into media, you can replace the file in the destination. Otherwise, you have to highlight that 1000 files and drag them in like I did. And you should not do that. Please do not do that. It takes up so much time. You could have just done what the instructions told you to do. Please. It's just simple. So anyway, I couldn't figure out what to do in this tiny amount of time. So anyway, now we can go jump straight into our feral heart. Isn't that fun? Okay, and this is where I started up my feral hearts and how you know that your item pack is working. Look at that fanta- wow, my feral heart account is ri oh, okay, that's um, that one actually doesn't look too bad. Like, seriously, it doesn't look too bad. It really didn't. But anyway, how you know that it's working? Random items appear on your animals, and my feral heart account is really old. So, finally you can jump in and see your feral heart and as you can see all my items are back on my original character and everything looks cool mr little duckenstein doing a t-pose on my back and there is actually a pack right there that has like a coordinated um items like and then there you get this guy who's pretty cool he he has like he has all the stuff and you can actually see that they are the ones that have the item pack because their items actually look cool on them and i guess that's pretty much all that i can say and narrate over <laughs> in this long video that i retook so many times but anyway, we will hopefully be covering presets in the next video, which I'll be explaining why there are marshmallow wolves and cats in the background. So I'll be covering presets in the next video. 
or in fact maybe maps let's tackle maps in the next video and i hope that you leave a big fat like and subscribe on my channel and i guess i'll be seeing you guys all next time bye bye